This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly be showing you five free programs that you can download and use for creating 2D animations on your computer. These programs are Synfig, Blender, Pencil, Tupi, and GIMP. All these programs are open source, completely free to download and use, and you can find more information here at my channel on YouTube, TJ Free, or at my website, tjfree.com. This first one we'll look at, Synfig, um, is a very great tool. Here's the interface for it. So it's a pretty advanced uh, animation program. You, I would recommend you have some experience doing animation on a computer before using this. Um, just know it's going to have a kind of a steep learning curve. Um, here we're seeing the, a feature that it has where you can map like a skeleton or use like a bone tool to map, um, map out a, a character or a certain object so that they um, move together with each other. Um, and then here we're going to see you mapping it to this um, sketch or this drawing of these feet um, dancing or I'm not sure what they're doing. Uh, this is not my work by the way. Um, all of the, the examples you're going to see of these software um, I've taken from Creative Commons sources here on YouTube. So I appreciate the uh, the artists for creating this work and for publishing it with, an, with a Creative Commons license. And uh, you can view um, the sources for this work uh, in the comments of this video. But so hopefully this gives you a, a, a feel for what Synfig Studio looks like and what it can do. It works on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. Um, and uh, so very, very full featured and uh, definitely one you, you'll want to check out. This next one we'll look at, um, Blender, um, is actually a 3D animation program. I'll pull up the interface here. Um, it's 3D, but you can work, if you just work in a single plane, then it becomes, you can, you can work in 2D. And so that's what we're seeing here. Um, this, here's an animation, a, a, a character that was drawn up, I believe, using the program Inkscape, and then it was uh, imported into Blender. Um, and then also you can see the bone tool has been used here to create a skeleton that the character is then mapped to. So when you move like the hand, for example, it also moves the elbow and the shoulder with it and um, different things like that. And then but, and you have a timeline at the bottom of the screen here where you can see um, moving it from frame to frame. Um, here's a cut shot to Inkscape. Uh, another free program where they where each of the frames was drawn individually um, and then exported into individual PNG images I believe and then imported into GIMP and so the nice thing about this um, whenever you're doing animation you're you're gonna want to use a program like Inkscape or or GIMP to draw your art um, and then you can modify it um, like you're seeing here and then you can export it because um, sometimes the animation programs don't have a really great drawing interface so here we're back into Blender, and we're, um, or th again, this is not this is not me doing this video. This is a some uh, someone else's video here on YouTube that I've used. Um, this next one we're going to look at Pencil. Um, I'll show you the interface for it. Pencil is really cool. Um, it's a ve it's a very simple program. So it's you just draw frame by frame. It doesn't have a lot of the same features that you're going to find in Blender and Synfig as far as doing like tweens or doing automated having objects redraw themselves. You have to draw every frame individually and uh, and then I'll show you the the actual work, what it, what it looks like uh, when it was rendered. And here's an example of some work that I found here on YouTube that was released under a Creative Commons license and it just shows an example of some of the kind of work you can do, um, something you can produce using pencil. And the artist did an excellent job with this piece. Um, but yeah, it, it's more of a basic tool. It, it is limited. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's Pencil, and uh, it's a pretty cool program. This next one, Tupi, um, is similar to Pencil, but I think it has, I, I feel like it has a lot more features. Well, it does have more features. So I'll open up the interface for Tupi here. Again, just keep in mind, until now, those first three that we saw were available on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. But this program, Tupi, is a Linux-only program. Um, and there, there's seeking donations right now they're a, the developers pretty awesome guy from what I've what I've been able to gather um, and they're c currently developing this this program further so if you want to see more features and more stability and have it brought to Windows and Macintosh um, check out their website and do some research on it and, and get involved and figure out how you can help bring some more features that's the nice thing about open source and about these free programs is that it really is a community effort to um, to get these features here for us but uh, so here's an example of something you can do w without having to draw frame by frame. So you automatically have the background scrolling across the back. You have the wheels rotating with a rotation tween, and then the the car is actually just staying static there in the middle. This next one um, is another uh, from another artist here on YouTube that that uh, 
release their their work under a Creative Commons license. And uh, this just shows an example of drawing frame by frame. So you, the, I believe the head, the, that blue part of the head that we saw was drawn, and then that image is going to be locked for the head, so it's not moving. And now each of the eyes is being redrawn here, the eyes and the eyebrows redrawn in a in a separate frame. And then we'll see. Here's what it looks like if you, yeah, scroll through and and watch each frame by frame. So it's just a quick example of of doing frame by frame animation um, using this program Tupi. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. I, I like Tupi a lot, and I'm excited to see where it's going to go in the future. And this last one we're going to look at, GIMP. Um, it's you, you probably know about it. It's similar to Photoshop. Um, here's what it looks like. But I'm just going to show you um, in this video an example of how you can use it for animation. So this, there's this fly animation here on a, or this fly image on a transparent background, and then the the artist here is mapping. Uh, the background, or mapping the fly around, and now he's rotating it, orienting it the way it needs to go. And then he's going to create frames for each one of those and export them. So each one of these images is a separate frame. Then he uses GIMP to um, create, uh, I think it's like a, a GIF image, .gif image, to um, just to, to loop, create a looping animation of this fly walking around on this transparent background. So it's pretty cool, and it just shows you an example of, uh, of, some, of a, a way you might not have known that you can use GIMP to create a, a simple um, animation. So so yeah, those are the programs I wanted to show you. Hopefully this video has been informative and kind of showed you what's out there and available as far as free animation software goes. Um, I would say for the mo mo most of the time you don't need to download and, and pay for or buy an expensive animation um, program. If you're just getting into it, definitely get familiar with these and play with them and they're going to be able to do most likely what you're going to want to do. Um, I, I've got a little 12-year-old brother that uses Blender and Pencil and GIMP, and he creates awesome, awesome stuff. So if he can do it, you can do it. Um, thanks for watching this video. Check out my other ones here on YouTube or my website, tjfree.com. And uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one.